Hey, it's around here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Search Console from A to Z. And the purpose of that is to be able to get your website, in this case, system IO website, indexed by the search engine, which means that when somebody searches for different keywords, different things online, your website is going to be considered by Google as a potential listing that they're going to give you. Meaning, if somebody is actually going to search for your name or your business name or maybe a keyword relating to what it is that you do, that Google is going to be like, okay, this website has information. Maybe I should put it on the beginning, on the top of the search engine to be able to give it as an option for people to click on. So this is going to give you organic traffic from Google. This is an SEO strategy, search engine optimization, and setting up Google Search Console is a very important step to doing exactly that. So I'm going to share my screen, show you how to set it up from A to Z. We have a new website I've created on System.io. The first step is you need to have a Gmail account. You can see I've got right here and I've got a few of those. And choose the right Gmail account that you're on and then you're going to search for Google Search Console. Now you'll have a bunch of things come up. Usually it's going to be the top one. Just click into it. You will see this page. Now there are tutorials that you can also follow where it's going to explain what is Google search console and all that stuff. And you can definitely go through that. I'm just going to walk you through the steps of integrating the domain name. So you're going to click on start now. Now in my case, I already have an account, so I don't need to create an account. I already have one. Now you will notice there's a few things here. So I'm going to actually integrate a bunch of domains as part of this, because I need to do that anyway. When you click on the drop down, you will see the different properties that you have verified and those that you do not have verified. Now I'm going to show you how to add a new property first. So I'm going to click on add a property. Now you're going to need to add a domain name. In this case, I'm going to add a run templates.com. Now I'm going to click on continue. You will notice that it is verifying the property and it's going to give me the information that I need to add to my domain provider. So I'm going to click on copy of this particular information. And then I'm going to click on my account, which is my domain.com where I'm hosting this domain name. Now, in this case, depending on what platform you're using, it might look different to you. I'm going to click on manage and then I'm going to click on continue. Now it's going to take me to the DNS records of iranTemplates.com. Now, if I scroll, you will see that I've got text records and I've got the Facebook pixel verified, but I do not have Google. So I'm going to go to the very top and I'm going to click on add record. Now I need to change the record type to TXT. Here it is. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to choose the at symbol. The text value is copy and pasting what I got from Google search console. I usually choose one hour and then I click on add. Now it says success, advanced DNS records updated. Please allow 24 hours to make a change. So that's all good. Looks perfect. Now I'm going to go back to Google search console and I'm going to click on verify. Now, because I just entered the details, it may not verify right away. So I'm going to give it a go and see. It may reject it. And if though, it just means I need to give it a bit of time. Click on verify. And you could see that the ownership verification failed. No worries at all. I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm going to say verify later. Now you will notice when I click on properties again, now I have a run templates here and the non, the non verified. So now I'm just going to have to wait a day. Now, yesterday I actually added the SOS detox challenge one. And now I'm going to go and see if I could verify it again. It's been one day and you can see that it is now fully verified. Now, yesterday I also tried to add this domain name. However, I don't think I did the integrations correctly. So you should be able to see that I need to basically add the information again. So I got to fix that. And that's something I'm going to do in a different, I'm going to do it separately for this video. Now that I at least know that I've got the SOS detox challenge verified, I can actually click into it and I am able to start seeing information. Now it is processing information. It's going to be a day or two and that's totally fine. Now that the domain name is verified, we are going to go through the process of making sure the blog posts and the website is also indexed correctly. So you can see that this property is verified. Now what we need to do is we need to click on URL inspection. Now I'm going to inspect the about page and it's going to check. Now you can notice that it says URL not on Google. Now 
what this particular page is, it's basically sosdetoxchallenge.com forward slash about. Now I'm going to say request indexing. So now it is testing if it can be indexed and you're going to see in a moment that it's going to basically reject being indexed. And it's going to say, basically, this cannot be indexed by Google. So here it is. And in order to fix that, what you need to do is you need to go to your system account. I'm going to go to the about page right here. I'm going to click into the editor. This is extremely important. Now, when I'm in the editor, I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to scroll all the way down and you're going to notice this thing right here, hide from search engines. And I'm going to uncheck this. So now that I've unchecked it, it is going to be able to be indexed. However, there are some other steps that I did not do properly here, which means the SEO optimization is not done correctly. So I'm going to add this here, shiny object detox challenge. That's the keyword. I'm going to actually want to target shiny object syndrome. I'm going to put my name, the SEO image. I'm going to click into it and I'm going to click on files and I'm going to find one of the images. Scroll down. I want it to be a similar image to this, basically. There you go. Click on insert. Now I'm going to type a little description about it. The shiny object syndrome detox website and challenge was created by Aram Bukai to help people get more focused on their goals and the things that matter in their life. Help people eliminate distractions and it's a free resource to help. There you go. Change that. Perfect. So now all the information has been optimized. I'm going to click on save changes. And now all the SEO information has been updated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit this page and then I'm going to grab the URL once again, click here, click on view. You see that this is the page. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to Chrome. I'm going to dismiss. And now I'm going to do a inspection again of this URL. It says not on Google. I'm going to say request index because now it's been updated and I unchecked that particular thing in system as well. So remember here, I unchecked in the settings. So this is really important because otherwise it will not index. Indexing requested. The URL was added to a priority crawl queue. Submitting a page multiple times will not change its queue position. Awesome. So now indexing requested. That's all good. So that's page number one. Now, what I do is I actually have a process where I have a grid of the website. When I create a website, you will notice that the page, if you go to pages, you will see here the about page. I'm now going to tick this as the search console has been requested. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab the next post. Now, this one is going to be forward slash posts, which is this page. I'm going to copy it, go back to the search console. I'm going to do a request for inspection, click enter. And I'm going to ask, is this indexed? It's going to say no, no worries at all. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the blog post page and I'm going to see if I failed to untick. So I'm going to scroll down to settings. You will see here that this is all ticked. That's all good. All the information is already here. So there's no reason why it should not be able to be indexed by Google. So I'm just going to save changes and exit from this page. I'm going to click here again, and now I'm going to request indexing again. It's going to take a minute or two, and then I can go back and I'm going to get the same sign saying it's been added to the queue and I can then move on to the next URL. Perfect. Now I can go back to Chrome, go back to my Google sheet and I can tick and say, yep, this was submitted. Now I'm going to go and do the same thing with the home page. So let's click into the home page, make sure that the settings is done. It's all good. Save changes. Exit, go back to the blog, click here, copy it, go back to Chrome, type it in, enter, not on Google, no worries, request indexing. Perfect, submitting request, that's done. Again, I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. Now I've got to do also, I'm going to show an example of doing it with blog posts. You got, I've got a bunch of blog posts. So I'm going to grab this particular URL. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go to the search console. I'm going to inspect this URL. This is a blog post. While it's actually checking this, I'm going to just double check to make sure that I did not make a mistake there as well. 
So this one is what is shiny object syndrome, so which is this one. I'm going to click into it. I'm going to click on settings, scroll all the way down. Looks like I did everything correctly. Plus, this is unchecked. Click on save changes, exit, go back here, click on request indexing. I'm with the search console now. Submitting request, done, awesome. I can go back to my spreadsheet. I can check that I've submitted this and I've got a few more blog posts to do the same thing with. So that's the process you want to go through basically. And once it's done, you'll be able to see also the different pages that are being indexed. Again, because this is a new domain, there's no information, but once there is, it will actually be updated.